Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Chrono Cross. I know I'm in, uh, the wrong place. I'm in the place where we fought that Cybot to get the key card. And like, uh, a D-bag, I totally forgot to read this up here, and I meant to. So, there's actually something right here that you can check out. That is not it. Check it out, Surge. Here we go. Let's read the report. It all began with a notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook covered with mold was a diary that belonged to my grandfather, passed away years ago. It contained my grandfather's distant memories. I wonder if you still remember how we first met and our many adventures. It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. You were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relive the memories of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like such and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid. Kid. Radical dreamers. Le tresor interdit. Are you ready, kid? I know you're anxious, but stay on your toes. Yeah, likewise, mate. You mess up and I'm leaving you behind. Got that, Serge? Come on, Majel. Let's go. That bastard Lynx is going to get what he deserves. Say your prayers, not that it'll do you any good. Huh. Alright, I just really wanted you guys to see that because it's a very important piece of information here. And actually, we're going to come back here at a later time and read it again. And it's going to change a little bit. So be right back and we'll be to the place where I actually left off the last time. Be right back. Okay, we're back. We're here. What's in here? We came all this way. This is what our whole fight has been for. We followed Lynx. He stole our body to get in here. We've done all this as him, trying to get to him. What could be in here? Arbiter confirmed. Access granted. Whoa, holy moly. Where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Exactly. Who the hell said that? The hearer of people's prayers, the provider of riches, fame, and power. The bestower of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. This is the essence of what descended from the heavens in the prehistoric age. The living crimson stone, the frozen flame. Lynx? What took you so long? You had me worried. Worried that you might have perished on the way here. Oh no, kid. Are you alright? It's no use. I put her soul to sleep. I had to remove any potential obstacle from us having this talk. Who are you? What are you after? You still don't know? I'm the human incarnation of fate. The living interface of the fate computer system. Or put simply, I too am fate. What? Fourteen years ago, on the night of a terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazuki and Miguel set out to sea carrying a sick young child in their boat. That child was you, Serge, after you had been attacked by that panther demon. Your poisoned wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Termina or even Goldov. So they set sail to Marbule in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm would become. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm but they were blown off course and came ashore to, on this island where they decided to seek shelter. At the time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up, but by then, the flame had found you. Contact with the flame healed your young body, but that was not all. Once the security card system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you, the Arbiter. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the Fate computer system in achieving its objective. Inside of Fate, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old Mother Brain generation. That circuit was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, couldn't exist inside of Fate? 
That hidden circuit was based on the initial Ashtier model circuit board, with extra logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that this circuit was present within the core of its system, or, more correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment Fate did detect it, it would erase all record of its detection. Dr. Luca Ashtier Unbelievably intelligent and incredibly enthusiastic, you might even go so far as to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't believe that it was Luca alone that devised this plan. I'm sure the first curator of this research center, a man named Balthazar, had a hand in it too. Fate, bring out the traitor, Prometheus. What? No way. Affirmative. Ah, you have finally released me. Welcome back. So you're the real Surge. I've waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. Surge, I beg you. Please bring an end to the enmity between fate and the dragons. Fate, eliminate him. Affirmative, now eliminating Prometheus. No, you cannot. Surge, please, for the future of mankind. F for the future of... Idiot. Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate. Lynx, why you? Ha. Come, Surge. Holy moly. Oh, no way. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. And I don't think we're going to have time to fight him, you guys. So I'm going to cut this short. When we come back, we are going to kick this fucker's ass. Mark my words. See ya.